Hey guys, how's it going? It's 8 Eric. Welcome back to the channel. So we have an interesting rumor in the world of Sony and PlayStation Plus. So there's been a lot of talk of Sony needing to do something to compete with Game Pass, right? Because Game Pass has been crushing it. Well, now this newest speculation, this newest rumor hasn't been announced yet, hasn't been confirmed. Supposedly, Sony is going to be adding a new thing to PlayStation Plus called PlayStation Plus Video Pass. So this website listing suggests Sony could offer video content as part of subscriptions. Now, this is an interesting development if this happens and opens up a whole new world of multimedia for PlayStation Plus. So Sony could be set to roll movie content into PlayStation Plus subscriptions, according to images briefly uploaded to its website on Wednesday. Hmm. Interesting. So a logo for PlayStation Plus Video Pass was published on Sony's official website today, along with the following description on its Polish website. So this has since been removed. So a new benefit available for a limited time on PlayStation Plus PS Plus Video Pass is a trial service active, and this is saying April 22nd, 2021 to April 22nd, 2022. The subscription benefit is available to PS Plus users in Poland. It's not clear if the listing is describing a global or local service, but we've requested clarification from Sony. So Video Game Chronicles has requested um, clarification. Right now, there is no confirmation on any of this. There's been no announcements, nothing, complete radio silence. But you could see this was briefly published. Look, we got Venom, Zombie Lamb, Double Tap, Bloodshot. On top of some listings for some games from PlayStation Plus. So this says last month, Sony announced that the PlayStation Store would stop offering TV and movie content for purchase or rental later this year. From August 31st, 2021, video content would no longer be available via the digital storefront, the company said. However, existing purchases will still be available to access. So they were changing some things on. Now, it says it could be that the platform holder is looking to increase the value of its paid subscription service in the midst of a strong competition from Xbox Game Pass by rolling some video offerings into PS Plus. So this ain't a bad strategy, Cotton, but let's see how it plays out if this was to happen. Now it says, crucially, the three movies featured in PlayStation.com's now removed website banner, Venom, Bloodshot, and Zombieland are all produced by Sony's own movie business. Sony also owns a significant amount of television content through Sony Pictures TV, anime content through Funimation. A large number of streaming services are currently available on PS4 and PS5, including Netflix, Disney+, Plus, Apple TV, and more. Recently, PlayStation launched initiatives that could be viewed as moves to counter the popularity of Game Pass. So, with the launch of the PS5, they, you know, they made the PS Plus collection, which is like a library of 20 PS4 games, with PlayStation Plus players can play them on the PS5. So, it has like, I believe, Fallout, God of War is in there, Days Gone, a few others. It's like a greatest hits collection. Asked in November if there were plans to grow the collection, which currently consists of 10 first party and 10 third party. Ryan told GQ Sony's taking a wait and see approach. I do think they should add some more games to the PlayStation Plus con uh, collection, if I'm not mis you know, if I am going to be honest. Now, Sony slash PlayStation Now prices in 2019 and a bid to be more competitive with rival streaming services. And also began adding blockbuster games each month, which are available for a limited time. Earlier this month, it claimed that SIE was working on a counterpunch to Microsoft's popular uh, Xbox Game Pass service. We did cover that briefly in a story that they're supposedly working on something to compete with Game Pass. Now, Tony's making significant efforts to amalgamate its video game and movie op offerings. PlayStation Productions was formed in 2019 by Sony Interactive Entertainment to adapt its original game properties for film and TV. So this is like the Uncharted movie, which was recently delayed. The first feature move, uh, film from PlayStation Productions, it's also working on the Last of Us TV show on HBO, uh, Ghost of Tsushima movie, Twisted Metal TV series, that's the first I've heard of it. 
among other projects. So they did announce a multi-year U.S. licensing deal with Netflix, granting it exclusive rights to house Sony Picture Entertainment films. So it looks like Sony's making a lot of moves in the world of video. Um, let's see if this video pass happens. I think this is an interesting development. If it does, I'm curious to see how it will play out. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below, guys. Subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you on the next